So now feel uh, your feet flat on the floor. You can feel the all the different parts of the foot. So the soles of the feet, the outside of the foot, the inside, and the ball, uh, toe ball mound, the pinky toe mound. So we've got hundreds and hundreds of, I don't know if hundreds and hundreds, but we've got quite a lot of bones in our feet. Our feet we tend to take for granted, you know, they're holding us up. It's our connection to the earth. So knees are about hips width apart. Be sitting right on top of your sits bones. Shoulders are aligned with the hips. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base excuse me, all the way up to the crown of the head and beyond. And just imagine your spine is lengthening, just getting longer. You're not forcing it, you're just lengthening. It's almost like a stretch, but not quite. Lengthen the back of the neck. If you want, you can stretch it a bit. It's almost like you're just tipping the chin down, so you're not poking the chin forward. So you can also imagine your ears are aligned with the shoulders. And take a nice deep breath. And then bring your mind to the crown of the head and just notice the sensations there. Release any tension in the crown of the head, the face. Allow your whole face to just soften. Relax the jaw, the back of the tongue, the temples, the back of the head, the neck. Allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat, the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. Then bring your awareness, the sensations to the your breath and notice the air as, your flow, as it flows in and out of the nostrils. Be aware if there are sounds in your environment. Try not to allow those sounds to be there. I mean, try not to follow the, have the mind follow those sounds. And then notice the thoughts that might be arising. So how has your day been? Today you might be tired, perhaps you've been busy, you might be heading to bed, you might be worried about something, so just notice what's there, you know, no judgment, just be aware of what's going on in your mind. You can use your introspection, sort of have a little look around and then don't judge. Be objective and curious about what's going on in the mind. And now think about all the people of our life, our, our loved ones, very dear and precious people that we have some of these extraordinarily profound relationships in our life. Then there's those people that we don't like so much and then there's our strangers. And just remember they can all change place at any time. And then they're all equal in their wish to be happy, their wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So think, there is no negativity um, that can't be purified. This applies to everyone. Absolutely everyone. So think that before we do that, we'll do this purification practice for all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings. So the, the way we're working with our mind is, is just basically psychology. We're being our own therapists. We're taking care of what's going on in our mind. So we create negativity there. It doesn't come from anywhere else. And we can change it by creating positivity instead. So we sincerely regret. This is where we start with the power of regret from the depths of our heart. 
anything we have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all of our past lives, and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on the logic of karma, and we experience everything uh, due to our past karma, our past actions, and so having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we cannot bear the thought of any future suffering that we might experience, so we know from our present suffering we don't want any more. So logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others. And then think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, who we see as a doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. And it's not that we're needing um, Buddha Vajrasattva to forgive us. We're not looking for a higher power here. So we want to really just uh, use Vajrasattva's methods. It's like medicine. So you can imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. He's made of beautiful, radiant white light. So if all that visualization is a little difficult for you, just imagine a ball of healing light above the crown of the head, purifying, healing. And you can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. He's made radiant, blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And he has this beautiful radiant face. His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart. The left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. And the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion and their being cross represents the union of these two, and this symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us, by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you've harmed recently and in the past, and then in general, all beings we have ever harmed since beginning this time. And then remember those who have harmed you, and we have compassion for them because they're going to suffer as a result of the harm they've done to you. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these beings, and think, I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine, doing the practice of purification. And we start with the body, and Bhadrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose, quite forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And then it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid, and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Bhadrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadrasapa Dinapatita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Bhadrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadrasapa Dinapatita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Bhadrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadrasapa Dinapatita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me 
Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajra Mimutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Badra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajra Mimutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Badra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajra Mimutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe and Badra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Badra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe and Badra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Badra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So the next is the purification of our speech. And again, Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and just fills your entire body. Except this time it forces up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Om Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mamimutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. 
And next is the purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room, you flick on that switch and the light uh, instantly dispels the darkness. So it's the same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind. So all your attachment and neediness and anger and bitterness and uh, depression, violence, anxiety, resentment, jealousy, grudges, all of this instantly dispelled. So again, be delighted with all your delusions and this is the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are totally purified and think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. And next is the uh, purification of, of these imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. So just imagine Vajrasattva sending light and nectar and it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy. Sitamshi <laughs> 
Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sitokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe and Badra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So now feel completely purified. There's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to enlightenment have been removed. And now we come to the power of resolve, and this is the fourth step and the final step in that purification process. So it really comes off the back of regret, this making a decision to not harm, and to try and think about, even if it's just as, even if it is only just thinking about refraining from harming, that's a, just a really good first step. So um, we have to kind of make a decision. We have to be determined that this is what we want to do because nothing happens without making a decision first. And without making a decision, we're going to keep making the same old things over and over again. So this d determination, this aspiration to not harm is like a beacon that guides our body and our mind in new directions. So Rimshay used to talk about everything existing on the tip of the wish. So just think about something that you're wanting to work on. Maybe it's your speech. Maybe whatever other habits you have that might be harmful for yourself or others. Maybe you in, engage in sort of negative, negative self-talk. Let me just think of something that I mean, it's not in a way to bring you down. It's just a way to sort of, you know, redirect our mind from a more negative way of thinking to a more positive way of thinking. It's almost like we have to reframe things constantly, flipping the switch, probably flipping the script. Just meditate on that for a couple of minutes. We actually have a little bit of time. Imagine Vajrasapha is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown. And you can think my teacher's body, speech, and mind, Vajrasapha's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same. So next, um, there's a little bit about emptiness. So in emptiness, there is no I, the creative negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, 
place your mind there for a little while. You can think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. You can also think that the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist. Let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this practice to all living beings and think. May all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And then we just think for His Holiness the Dalai Lama to have a very, very long life to be able to continue to teach, to continue to guide people. I mean, the fact that he's travelled from Dharamsala to Bulgaria is quite a way. It's not a, it's not a direct line either. So the, His Holiness has been able to get there. It's kind of amazing. So just be delighted and make strong wish that His Holiness stays healthy so he can continue to teach and then a swift return of Lama Zopri Mache's unmistaken reincarnation and then for your own teachers to live long. Okay, everybody, finishing a, about a minute early tonight. Lots of love. Thank you so very much for your coming along, for your attention. Thanks for hosting, everyone, whoever's been hosting, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Good night.